Hi guys, um, in this lesson I'm going to quickly show you and walk you through some of the features about uh, Object Viewer. Um, so just in case if you haven't seen the other videos just go to the playlist and uh, watch all the Civil 3D videos and, um, and let's get started. So Object Viewer is basically to view Civil 3D objects uh, into a separate screen so that you can rotate it and things like that. So it is not that you, you can't do it here. Uh, the reason being is uh, generally your civil 3 drawing has also also have uh, 2D elements in there like tables and legends and things like that. And in most cases these legends and tables have uh, got the planned readability feature set to true. So if you have 200 tables if you try to rotate it in the model space it's going to try and rotate the table in the view that you can read the text. So so it, it will be a lot slower if you try to rotate it on the space. So what we're going to do is you're going to select any object that you're going to see it in 3D and uh, you can right click and you can click on object viewer or you go to the header select the object on the header you see an option uh, where you can click on object viewer that will take you to the object viewer so just quickly running through certain things on this object viewer um, so once this object viewer is open you can't go back to the screen and you can you cannot go and edit your object so this is a modal window that means when this window is open so this takes precedence so only when you close this window you can go back and work on the drawing so now on this one the very first thing is you can say whatever the view that you have here you can click on the save button and that will save this image um, in, uh, in in a format that you want it so you can save it as a png file uh, gif or bimp uh, bmp or tiff files you can save that one uh, pretty easy and the next one is uh, you can go and change the style uh, so since it's in a planned 2D view, so you're not going to see the 3D realistic view. Moment you rotate it and take your mouse off, you'll be able to see the render, and that's important, guys. So when you're actually rotating your uh, model, um, so if the render doesn't happen while you are on actually in the rotation mode. So you have to take your hands off, and then it will render the model. So just in case if you're not seeing the render material or something. All right. So some of the useful styles are realistic and conceptual. So conceptual pretty good uh, because it highlights some of those uh, striking features on your surface or any of your other 3D models that you might have. And another one is uh, 3D wireframe where you can uh, uh, see the see the pretty much the triangles. And um, essentially I prefer the realistic one. All right, so that's the first thing. And second thing is you got the pan, you got the zoom tools, and uh, you got the other tools generally use it in AutoCAD. And next is you can set it to uh, a different view right from here and then uh, you got a whole bunch of options to change the views as well and uh, then the then one of the nice feature about this one is you got this option where once you rotate it to a particular angle and then you can click on this one and it will set that view onto your model space so you can rotate it to any view and then click on this button and then if you go there your model will be will be in the same way the view that you were looking at it which is really nice. So now you can also say that, okay, I wanted to go to top and then set this view and then set it back to the top view, just in case if you have trouble getting back to normal. You can also use the view cube, just like your AutoCAD, you can use a view cube. And um, so you can change, um, um, <coughs> zoom into a particular window as well, zoom extent, and that's your um, zoom center and that's your zoom window option. Okay, so this is all uh, uh, you can do with your object viewer and uh, hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, go and subscribe our channel and uh, keep watching and let us know your feedback as well. Thanks guys.